Good morning, hot dogs. Prom, trade school, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you are not interested in college and have no clue what to do after high school, then a trade school might be for you. Let's watch this video and find out more information about trades. This is Steve Snyder, president of the Tippecanoe Building Trades Construction Council. The Tippecanoe Building Trades Summer Construction Expo is June 7th through July 28th. The expo is a free opportunity for people curious about the trades to get their hands dirty and be part of a multi-demonstration led by skilled tradespersons from the trade of your choice. Maybe a skilled trade is your career path. Get details and get started by registering at unionsbuilditbetter.com. You must be 14 years of age or older. The free Summer Construction Expo starts June 7th. For lunch today, in lines 1 and 2 will be hot dogs, and in lines 3 and 4 will be chicken nuggets. Now, to sports and weather. Good morning, dogs. Last night, the boys' varsity baseball team traveled to Roswell to face off against the Hornets. They defeated Roswell last night 4-2 to improve on the 3-1 season. Jose Lopez pitch, pitch, pitched five scoreless innings to earn the win, and Deacon Spencer picked up the save and relief. Last night, tracks meet with Lafayette Harrison and Faith Christian was canceled due to yesterday's forecast. As you already know, the 2022 baseball season is back. Our on-location crew cut up with some of the varsity players. Let's see what they have to say. The 2022 baseball season kicking off to a great start with the dogs being 2-1, and one, we were able to catch up with juniors Andrea Santos and Victor Cruz to get their thoughts of this season. Let's send it to them. I feel like I have a great connection with all the guys on the team now this year. Last year was a little more distant, and now I get to spend more time with a group of guys that I'm more familiar with and had a more relationships with now, and just spending the season with them, the seniors been, being the last year, making it a good year. Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, we have a lot of young talent, but I think we have a, a lot of potential. I think we got a solid one through nine rule, so I think we'll be able to Get contact, get contact through all through those hitters. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, getting a lot of wins this year and uh, just spending a lot of bond time with the team. And I think this year we're a lot closer than we were last year, so I think that would help a lot. Um, talking about stats, probably just an increase from everybody overall. I feel like everybody on the team's put in the work, put in the grind to get better than the year before, and I feel like we're gonna have better results team-wise. See how far we get in sectionals and postseason. Our next home game is Wednesday, April 16th. We'll be facing the Lebanon Tigers. Make sure you come out and support. That's all for the on-location crew. Now back to AB. We saw what they had to say. Thanks, Edwin. That's all for sports. Now to Allen with weather. Thanks, AB. The weather today is looking blue like almost this weekend. With cloudy skies and the high of today being 43 and the low being 31. With high winds being around 20, 10 to 20 miles per hour. That's it for the weather. Have a stormy weekend. By the way, the next home baseball game is not Wednesday the 16th, but Wednesday the 13th. Make sure to be there or be square. Today is also the last day to get your prom tickets. The cost is $35 and you will need to have a signed permission slip at the bookstore before you can receive any tickets. And trust me, you don't want to miss it. A happy birthday goes out to Warren Bowler, Jerilyn Contreras, and Leon Contrell. Contrell. That's all for the announcements, hot dogs. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. How many times?